Well, right now, 11 Pierogi Fest, as promised, is on. The festival, as we know, was canceled last year due to the pandemic. But today, what's known as the wackiest fest in the Midwest, or Pierogi Fest, you might know it as, it's back. CBS 2's Muga Odigwa, who just had her first pierogi, oh, is live. Yeah, yeah, and she liked it in Whitey, Indiana. Congratulations. <laughs> hey. We're taking bets whether you're going to have one. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It was so good. It was so worth it because I'm like, oh my gosh, I just ruined my diet. But you know what? It's all good. It was delicious. That's awesome. People are starting to show up, you guys. So many people are starting to show up right now. Take a look behind me. You can see from earlier this morning, there was no one here. You only had the tents. Now you see people standing by. They're standing by vendors. Those vendors are cooking. So much fun. Again, like I said earlier today, this is going to be a lot of fun. And these people here, this is proof of that. The tents are up and the vendors are ready. Pierogi Fest is on. If you come out this weekend, you'll likely meet these ladies. Trust me, you definitely want to meet them. They are the Bouchas. It's a lot of fun, a lot of food, good entertainment. Decked out in their house coats and stockings, they've got all the personality in the world to make you laugh. No, this is natural beauty. We wake up like this. Yep. Maybe one, two, three curlers. Yeah. No. Gotta straighten them out a little bit. That's it. That. Then they're the vendors, like Dominique. How we doing today, guys? How are you? But he doing? says, don't call him that. He simply wants to be referred to by his storefront's name, Babushka's Polish Foods. Like many of the other vendors here, he's glad to be back this year, especially after the festival was canceled in 2020 because of COVID-19. Last year sucked. I mean, that, 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 that really sucked. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to keep people safe. We should also mention... Mm. Oh, my God. This is so good. He makes the best, the most delicious pierogies. And while Pierogi Fest is all about fun with the family, organizers know COVID-19 is still top of mind this year as the number of cases continue to rise. They tell me there are some safety measures in place. One of the things that people will notice is that we took the picnic tables off 119th Street off the main festival area and put, it into, put them into large uh, picnic areas so that we can provide for a little bit more distancing, open up uh, the, the street a little bit more. All the more reason to come out, enjoy the festival, and yes, again, meet the Bouchas. So I was telling my photographer here, Mario, earlier, the people here are so nice. Everyone is nice. If you look behind me right now, there's sort of a, a mini parade going on. Remember, later tonight at 7, there's going to be that much, much bigger parade. But right now, we can see all, all of these people going by right now, waving at the camera, at the mini parade here, at the pierogi fest. Woohoo! Remember, it starts at 11, runs all the way through tonight, Saturday, Sunday. So you have a lot of days to come out here, have some fun, check it out. It's going to be hot, get some water, whatever you need. But this is a lot of fun to so come out here. We're live in Whiting, Indiana, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News. Oh, good. The well, excitement well. you're hearing and seeing from Mugo right now is so genuine. It's her first pierogi fest, her first pierogi. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's such a vibe. Mugo, thanks so much. I'm so glad you had fun out there.